Local unhoused providers have been scrambling to give resources to people on the streets, knowing hours in prolonged heat exposure could mean death. Front Force Jack Mullman reports from San Jose. I'm going to give you a case of water. Sean Cartwright has been busy all afternoon. I'm going to give you, these are um, electrolytes. electrolytes and they're really yummy. Making sure that dozens of people who live along Coyote Creek behind Happy Hollow Zoo have what they need for this fall heat wave. People are thrilled to get what we're bringing, um, but they're just really slow to respond. I mean, just imagine not being able to... You know, you don't have fans, you don't have air conditioning. The homeless advocate says she knows of at least eight unhoused people who have died from heat this summer. It's a tragedy that San Jose Mayor Matt Mahan is hoping to prevent this time. So for those who are living outside and are exposed to the elements, we have cooling centers, and if they happen to fill up, we will find more space to flex to keep open later. The mayor says he is planning to remove people living along creeks and connect them to shelters or put them in planned safe camping sites. During a hot spell like this, that can save lives. If we need to, we can get people on a shuttle and get them to a cooling center. We can provide, make sure people have access to water. To but for Crystal Cortez and her boyfriend, living close to the water is their best option of staying cool. It's bad. But um, usually I tend to be a little bit more hotter when I'm out on the street, like when I have to run errands. It's, it's boiling out there, and then I get here, and it's a little bit more cooler. Cortez says she isn't sure if they'll go to a cooling center or not. Long term, she is hoping to be housed before her creekside tent is swept. I mean, right now I'm just applying it for jobs, trying to see if I can get a job and get out of here, because after hearing about them wanting to kick everybody out from the creeks, I mean, I'm not going to wait for them to come and kick me out. You know, I'd rather just leave before that happens. And those cooling centers that the mayor mentioned will be open from 1 p.m. to 7 p.m. on Tuesday and Wednesday, and you can find a full list of them on our website at cronfort.com. But as for other cooling centers around the Santa Clara County area, of course, the public libraries will be open during the daytime as well, just like the Sunnyvale Public Library right here. Reporting in Sunnyvale, Jack Mulmud, Cron 4 News.